What's up guys, Pog here, and today I will be going ahead and unboxing this Motorola Moto G Play. I got this off of Costco here in Canada for $199. I think this is a pretty cool looking phone for that price. So I'm going to go and unbox this and take a look at it, set it up, things like that. So let's get to it. Here's the front of the box. We have the Motorola right here, Moto G Play. There's the left side, the right side top here on the bottom you can see three plus 32 gigabytes the color is misty blue there's the back includes a moto g play charger cable guides sim tool and yeah i mean it comes with a charger at least but there is a sticker here that we have to peel to open the phone there we go Opens up like this. Let's put the phone aside. Opening this up. Well, this comes off. Moto Care over here. So this is like a protection for the phone. Protect your phone with Moto Care protection. Personally, I would not be going with a protection for a phone that's like $200. Here seems to be the SIM tray tool right there. Some more instructions. There's the power adapter right there. As well as a USB to USB-C cable. That's about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. And there we have it. So there's the front, the volumes on the right, the SIM tray right here on the left side. Here's the back, the bottom with the USB-C port, the top looks like there is a headphone jack right there all right let's power this on motorola logo right there powered by android the display looks really nice and again for 200 dollars here in canada this is this is a really nice looking phone All right, hi there. So we're gonna go with English. There's like United States and all that stuff. So we'll go English, United States, hit start. There we go. Connect to mobile network. I'm gonna skip this step. Let's connect to Wi-Fi. All right, I typed the Password for the Wi-Fi. While this is doing this thing, let's take a look at the SIM tray actually. So it looks like there is a rubber around the edge there. A spot for a micro SD card as well as the SIM card. There we go. All right. Copy apps and data. I'm gonna go don't copy. This is actually a really nice cell phone. It feels great to the hand. I feel like this is a phone I would carry without a case, not worrying if I were to drop it and if it were to break. Because I mean, look at that display. This is actually a really nice looking display. Uh, we can sign in. I'm gonna skip this step. I'm gonna skip it again. Can have the location data and things like that. Let's hit accept. So we can type in a pin. 
hit next. Unlock with your fingerprint. Use your fingerprint to unlock your phone or approve purchases. Let's set that up. And it looks like it is in the back. So it seems like it's the Motorola logo right here. Touch and lift. Finger slightly. I am doing it. And there we go. We can add another. I'm going to go hit done. Review additional apps. Hit OK on that. Getting your phone ready. Can we go to notifications? Nope, not yet. I mean, the, the thing I can notice immediately is like right here. So if you're looking straight at the phone, this, the display is beautiful. But if you were to look at it, like here's what it is. But if you look at an angle, it becomes like super dim from the side and left there. But like if you're just texting or just looking at your phone, this display is actually really nice. Privacy and software and stuff. Go ahead and turn these off. Accept and continue. Stay in touch. Things like that. Let's hit next. A new way to navigate. Learn how to use Android's new gestures. Okay, so to go home, we just swipe up just like the iPhone. All right. See recent apps, just like the iPhone. Go back. All right, similar. Uh, let's hit next. Give it a try, swipe up to go to home screen. You can manage your navigation preferences in the settings. Okay, so we have this bar here, like we had from the iPhone 10. So let's just swipe up. And here we have the phone itself all set up. So if we were to open up Chrome, for example, wait for it to load. It seems like the phone is doing some uh, downloading right now, but it is lagging a little bit, not gonna lie. There we go. So let's let's go to YouTube. I mean the display. Like if I'm looking straight at it, it's it's beautiful. But then whenever it's like at an angle, it is not as clear. But again, two hundred dollars. I think this is a great phone. It seems like as long as it's responsive, you know. So let's just type in. Uh, the keyboard is also really uh, responsive. All right, browsing the web is pretty nice. Let's hit videos. I mean, it's pretty smooth. Let's take a look here. All right, so it does not have a stereo speaker, so like there's no any music coming out of here from the earpiece. So that's something to note, but I'm not trying to expect too much from a phone that's like $200 at Costco. So there it is, go home. Okay, now let's turn it off here. And then do we have anything like race to wake? Nope, all right, if I were to, okay, so if I don't even push this button here, what happens is I can just put my fingerprint there and it will just turn on and automatically open up because of the fingerprint. Let's check out the photos here. Sign in to back up. Okay, let's look at the recent apps, similar to iPhone, but we do have this clear all, which is nice. So you don't have to go like swipe up. You will just hit clear all and it will close up everything it seems like let's take a look at the camera here took its time to open up okay 
So there's some controls over here for the camera, like for the photo itself. Let's uh, flip it for the front facing. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's look at the video. I mean, it's definitely taking a long time to switch between the modes. But other than that, it's, I mean, it's not too bad. There's the touch there, aspect ratio, frame rate. Let's kind of look at it this way. All right. Got the settings for the camera, for the photos, the video. Okay. Let's go over to the settings here. It's the display. Let's kind of put it up at full brightness. Again, as long as you're looking at it like this, straight at it, it's pretty bright. But as soon as you look at it like this, it becomes dimmer. So it's not that clear of a display. Uh, the dark mode itself, I mean, it, it doesn't look completely black. It looks grayish. All right. So let's turn that off. Let's look at the storage here. And we have... 15.40 gigabytes used out of the 32, uh, which system is literally taking 14 gigabytes, but thankfully there seems to be the micro SD card storage, so that's nice, but yeah, so that's that's taking its space. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, looks like nothing else is installing, so will it be a bit quicker? See, it is, it is definitely taking a lot longer uh, to open up, but yeah, I mean, it's actually pretty nice for $200. So there's the camera. Can go to three times zoom. So I kind of have to drag. Seems to have two cameras. It's also the flash. Camera in use, I gotta just get rid of it. Let's try that again. There's the flashlight. It's pretty bright. Night light, screen record. It seems like it is much quicker now, a little, or? Oh, we just had Chrome crash on us. Hmm. Yeah, Chrome is crashing on me. Let's clear all. And let's try Google Chrome again. Okay, it works now. I mean, once I'm browsing the web, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. There's all the Google apps. But yeah, guys, this was pretty much the quick unboxing and the first look ever to the Motorola Moto G Play smartphone. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.